also, if you're still rocking the G2, you now know that, well, you've probably known that Marshmallow is going to come available for it. There's many reasons for this. The G2 is an excellent phone. It still holds its own very much, very, very strongly in the smartphone world. Even though we have phones such as the um, Nexus 6B, the Galaxy S7, it's phones like that which are severe to this display-wise, processing-wise. But when it comes to just the user interface and using the phone, it's just a snappy. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, I'm really not going to go through much of this. Not much has changed. What I like to call Marshmallow 6.0.1, and we'll dive into it, but that's what this is. The only things that really changed, I do believe, is, I like to say this is a perfected version of Lollipop. We've got our ripoff of Flabby Bird here that certain things have been changed. The Android man changes colors and some looks, somehow looks like he shoots lasers. Yes, he does. But it's still the same as what we had with 5.0. This is the latest version as today's date is June 30th. And it's their nightly version, 6.30.2016. Signage is Mon 13 for the D801 model. That is the T-Mobile model. The uh, CM has really went after this phone. Um, it always gets the latest updates. Everything always runs great. The, the GAPS version I'm running is when I think back from late February. And you get everything here except for Chrome. Of course, CPUZ doesn't come with it. Facebook, um, Google Photos, and Facebook Messenger. Everything else you're seeing comes with the phone. And here's one new little uh, option here. But guys, I'm going to tell you, not much has changed. Like I said, this is pretty much just a perfected version of Lollipop, which we all know that Lollipop had many, many, many flaws, especially battery life. I've noticed that the charge rate is pretty decent with this thing that I'm only using a 700 milliamp charger. And I've got the screen on bright and I'm recording and running multiple apps in the background. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you, when I usually record this, when I usually do my screen recordings for this, I run my uh, my uh, battery mode or performance mode at performance or quick, not balanced. So we are seeing this in balanced. The screen record, I'm not using an app, I'm not using a Play Store or, or third-party APK download it. It's downloaded screen recorder. This screen recorder right here actually came with the uh, late February version of GAPS. Let's see which version we do have actually. But anyway, guys, I guess when we got the, for some reason, I thought the GAPS were put into here. I, I, don't, I don't know why. It's not the version. This latest security patch was 30 days ago. I could have sworn for some reason that it has, but anyway, they were done around late February. But I'm not going to really even go through the menu here. It's basically a couple of new things have been added on thing flashy. What you're getting, guys, is the perfected version of Lollipop. Better battery life, faster charge rates, and way, way more snappier. And when it comes to multitasking, it can finally do it. If one of the Snapdragon 800, this phone responds just like the current, just like all the current flagships. And even though it's it's the second generation of the G2, the G5 is out, and the G2 is still a popular phone. Signs are mic but after this, the updates are nightly. They come out quick. You can always find Signs and Mod, OKP, all these different, all these different popular ROMs for this phone. But for good reason, it's a good phone. Okay, G2 owners, till next time.